A very good day, fine people. I hope you are well. My name is Nick on the Atari 2600. I'm looking at a game called Big Bird's Egg Catch uh, by Atari in 1983. It's a Sesame Street related game featuring, I don't know if you've guessed this, Big Bird from Sesame Street. We reviewed a previous game regarding that called Cookie Monster, which was for kids, admittedly, and this one is for kids as well. But anyway, you take on the role of Big Bird. There's different modes of play here, and with a bar basket I think attached to your head. You need to get underneath the right tube where chickens are above laying eggs and catch all the eggs or as many as you possibly can. It's been developed by the Children's Computer Workshop and you know it's based on the show uh, Sesame Street. You know this from 1969 it first started. Okay so I've just got two keys here. Uh, this is the easiest mode to play and maybe it's a little bit boring. But anyway just two keys left and right to go under the right tube I mean, you need the reflexes of a, a slow dimbo not to be able to do this. Anyway, the tune plan is called Turkey in the Straw, an American folk song uh, from the 19th century. Now, if you played this game back in the day, then let me know. There's Big Bird uh, with a blue laser Robocop helmet on. Is it? It looks a bit like Robocop, doesn't it? Robo Big Bird. Nice bloomers, Big Bird. Uh, yes, um... The most similar game you've viewed before is Kaboom, I suppose, from Activision in 1981, a couple of years before. I don't know if that's influenced it, but he was just catching bombs on that one, or trying to wipe out bombs with a paddle. This is just left and right. So I think we need to put this on a more difficult mode at some stage, because it's a little bit boring like this, and maybe too darned easy. Turkey in the straw. So it's one to two players. I'm the only player here. Now, normally I say don't expect expert gameplay, because I'm not a child aged three, I think um, I think I'll be able to do expert gameplay here. Uh, surely there must be an easier way to catch eggs from chickens. I don't know. Just put a massive big bird in there with a with a like uh, a basket on his head. That's the best way of doing stuff. If you are a massive big bird with a basket on your head, working in a chicken coop, catching eggs, uh, going left and right, then comment in the comment section below. Is this the best way to run a business? I'm doubting it, you know. Anyway, what do I know about business? Nothing at all. Right, there goes Big Bird, counting these eggs again, and I think it's time to do a different mode. Uh, I presume the other modes are slightly more difficult. There is some modes later on where the tubes go invisible for a set amount of time, so there we go. Now, on that mode, we weren't doing much walking, we are just flipping between one and the other. Uh, on the other modes, I think you are doing a bit of walkies. There's three tubes there, so it's getting a bit more zigzaggy. Uh, I don't know if the eggs come down maybe a little bit quicker. Possibly, as I say. If you had this game back in the day, then let me know. I've reviewed quite a lot. Oh, you can walk now. Oh, you've reviewed quite a lot of Atari 2600 games. They're in a playlist. Uh, missed that one. Uh, the link, there's a link in the description below uh, to those, or you can click on my username, it takes to the channel page, you want to mess about on that, but if you want to click on the uh, playlist tab, Atari 2600 will be there in a list along with a load of other stuff. Right, so yes, it's a kid's game, so you might have had this as a kid, no real reason to play it as an adult unless you want a bit of uh, nostalgia there, or it's collectible, so I don't know. Anything Sesame Street isn't going to go down in value, is it? Because the show's been running since 1969 to the present day. Characters like Bert and Ernie are my personal favourites. Count Dracula. Um, who's the other ones? Oscar the Grouch, Mr. Snuffleup, of course. Big Bird Elmo seems to have taken over recently. I think Elmo, a Grover, a Cookie Monster, I think I mentioned him, and um, um, uh, Mavis Riley. One of those not correct. The Muppets, great by Jim Henson. Do, do, sunny day. Oh, yeah, actually, why are they playing Turkey in the Straw? They could have played the Sesame Street music here. Sunny days. Do. Oh, there's a magic egg coming down. Taking my cares away. It was an educational show, still is. Talk kids about the alphabet and counting and plutonium and all those sorts of things. Uh, not sure about plutonium, but I made that up. So the game's open-ended. It's going to go on forever. Different coloured tubes here. Is it more difficult? Where well, it's a slightly, but you can, you can follow the tubes there. Maybe when they go visible, it might be a little bit uh, tricky. But for a young kid, maybe age three and upwards, it's, uh, it's testing their reflexes with a fun tune. And they're getting control. Big Bird on the screen there. How old is Big Bird anyway? He looked an adult in 1969. Hmm... So that's like 50 years ago, isn't it? Over 50 years ago. So say he was 20 then. This big bird must be in his 70s or 80s. Anyway, he still looks quite sprightly for it. 
I've never seen him fly though. He never flew in Sesame Street. Big Bird never flew. Uh, he never took a crap on someone's car windscreen. It was quite fine. It was fine. Well, as far as I'm aware, on screen. If you have been driving your car and Big Bird's flown over and done a crap on your windscreen, then comment in the comment section below. I'd love to hear from you the other side that we don't necessarily see on the kids' um, TV show. Hooray! Well done, Big Bird. I always thought you had a dark side, you know, that Big Bird. It just seemed too nice. Anyway... That's a film we want to see. Big Bird vs. Predator. Big Bird vs. Alien. Uh, I don't know. He was never in the Avengers. Uh, they never phoned him up. Um, Spider-Man's sick today. Can you stand in Big Bird? No, I can't. Anyway. I can't tell you much, too much more about this game. You might have the cartridge. be worth quite a bit. Uh, chicken animation at the top there is, is, is good. It's a fun game. If you like if the kids like Sesame Street, it's be quite fun to leave the kid in front of the TV where you go on holiday for three weeks and uh, come back. Kids still playing it. Uh, absolutely fine. Disclaimer, do not do that. Be responsible. This is a nutty channel. It's a crazy channel. Uh, don't take everything, literally. We're playing for fun. We're stress busting. We're having a laugh. And, um, you know, playing like a wally. So Atari, 1983. Uh, do check out the review of Cookie Monster, if you haven't already. Um, I don't know if there were any other Sesame Street games on the Atari 2600, or any other computer. Oh, well, I expect the modern ones have got it. But let me know for the retro systems. Were there any other uh, Sesame Street games I should be looking at? Here he is, counting his eggs. It's gradually speeding up here. He's going to scroll and scroll and scroll. But look at his eyes. It's blue. It's definitely a Robocop helmet. Robo Big Bird. He's been shot by Clarence Bodiger and they've rebuilt him. O C OCP. OCP. Big Bird. I wonder what his prime directives are. Oh no. Du, 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 du. Hello, I'm Big Bird. Big Bird. Big Bird. Big Bird. Make that Robo Big Bird. Make that movie, please. Oh man, anyway, um, that's not much more I can say. We only used to be about 10 minutes. Uh, this time the uh, shoots are going invisible. It's making it a little bit more tricky for me, but not a great deal. Still follow that egg along. The egg, oops, that's crashed. Oh dear, dear. I, I, don't, I wonder how that feels for Big Bird, watching uh, an egg smash on the floor. I mean, why would, they, why would they employ a bird to collect the eggs of other birds? It's a bit like cannibalism, isn't it, maybe? What is he doing? He's sold out. Obviously, Big Bird is evil. Evil Big Bird. Oh, man. As an as as adult, you get quite bored quite quickly. That's the magic egg there. If you're still watching, then thank you very much. Expect seeing all the games there are to offer. I mean, I don't know how many games are in the Atari 2600's catalogue, so it's possible we might be able to review them, uh, so all of those, but I expect there would be a few rude ones that I tend to avoid because it's a PG channel. Although I did talk about Big Bird flying over your car, taking a big crap in your windscreen. So what the hell's going on? Oh, I suppose that's fine, isn't it? It's fine in today's standards. Who cares? There's lots of other stuff in the world going on without having to worry about that kind of thing. Right, here he is. Robo Big Bird. Counting his eggs again. Maybe it's the drug nuke from Robocop 2. He's a good of a dancer, isn't he, there? Didn't do much dancing like on the show. Never saw him do the splits or a head spin or a um, moonwalk. Never did any of that. Big Bird. You're safe with Big Bird, are you? We just don't know. If, you, if Big Bird's lock lawyers are watching, um, it's another Big Bird I'm talking about, not you. Uh, from Sesame Street. Not Sesame Street. Right, OK. Um... Yeah, I mean, there's not a great variety between the things. It looks like the maximum of four chickens laying eggs. Two's a real boring one at the start. Uh, goes three, it doesn't go more than four. I'd like to see eight, maybe, and the, the, it firing two eggs at the same time. It only fires one egg at, the, at once, as far as I'm aware. Fire another egg. Give us something to think about. No, it's just doing one at a time. Gently. You never know what uh, bird's going to lay the eggs, but uh, they know. They're taking it in times, turns, doing their little dance moves. I never owned an Atari 6600. Said expression 48K was the one for me, the rubber keyboard. To my knowledge, I don't think this come out on that. Anyway. Uh, USA, Sesame Street. Hmm. Oh my god. Why am I still playing this? I don't know. I think it's quite relaxing. The longer I'm playing this, the more I'm detached from reality in that outside world. 
and weird stuff goes on there in that outside world. You can't trust it. You can't trust it a bit. I suppose you have to for everyday stuff. Um. Oh man. Was there a small bird? Big bird, small bird. I mean, they had to call him Big Bird. I mean, it's obvious he's a bird, and it's obvious he's big. Why not you call him Yellow Bird? Or Talking Bird. That's most unusual. A Talking Bird, but no, they focus on his size. What a world. Anyway, we will leave it there. I would like to have a look at that one. Kids, kids, uh, game. Would have sufficed, but not a great deal there beyond what you can see. That was Big Bird's Egg Catch on the Atari 2600, published by Atari in 1983. You know, and based on the character from the uh, show Sesame Street. Keep up, you must have known that before. Got any comments about this game, similar games, or anything retro? Then put that in the comment section below. You're more than welcome. Until next time, as eggs crash everywhere, take great care of yourself and a very fond goodbye. goodbye. Do 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 do